actually wanted to talk just briefly um, before I introduce everybody else um, about this thing which came from uh, exploring an image. And it occurred to me when Megan and I were talking that um, that's how uh, many artists get to the work that they're doing, is you just have an image. And that then expands or becomes something else. I was um, William Faulkner, when he wrote The Sound and the Fury, it came from one little image of a little girl, uh, about 11 years old, with dirty drawers, going to her grandmother's funeral. And that gave birth to the entire novel of The Sound of the Fury, which is, I think, the greatest American novel ever. Um, but the, the image becomes this transformative um, event when it becomes some kind of work of art. So, um, and often, I think, that the artist has to search for an image to then transform it into the thing that she or he needs to express what they've, they've been looking for. And the iconic one for me is um, W. Eugene Smith, who's uh, one of the great photographers in America. During World War II, um, he, uh, he took a lot of war photos and was devastated both psychologically and physically. He was wounded. Um, he ended up in the hospital for two years and uh, had plastic surgery done. He could barely hold his camera. Um, he was already one of the great photographers of the country um, when he came out of the hospital and he refused to take any pictures. Absolutely refused. And his wife um, persuaded him to go on a walk with his kids and put the camera in his hand and said, try, just give it a try. And he did. And he took this picture, which I'm sure you've all seen. It was uh, shown in the Family of Man, um, uh, an exhibit that was done through Life magazine. Um, but it's two little kids walking up a path, holding hands, going through a bower. And it is an extraordinarily joyful and loving and gentle photograph in contrast to everything he had been doing for the years before. And it launched him into the next phase of his life. And I think that's what we do. Uh, whether you're an artist or not, we find those things that launch us into the next phase of our lives. Um, I was, uh, as Megan mentioned, I was a theater director for a very long time. And I ended up doing um, a lot of plays that had one thing or another to do with the Holocaust. Uh, I didn't consciously choose this, but it just sort of happened. And one of the, the big plays that I did um, was The Investigation by Peter Weiss. It's a play that is simply transcripts of um, the last trial that came out of pr uh, prosecuting the uh, guards at Auschwitz, the guards and the doctors at Auschwitz. And it's a, it's a pretty difficult play. It's four hours long. Um, it's written for 35 men and two women all elderly, because this is way after World War II. Um, and I think it's, when was it? It was in 1962. So it's, it's substantially after the event. When I directed it, I directed it with 17 women who were all in their 20s, and two men who were also in their 20s. So they're babies. And beautiful. They're all just gorgeous. And they're using this language that's in the, in the play, in the trial, of these horrific, awful things that these people did to each other and that they experienced. And, um, and I ended up doing a bunch of other plays. Uh, and every time I do a play, I do a lot of research. And one of the things I ran across in my research again and again and again is that film clip, which uh, you've all seen, of uh, a dump truck dumping bodies into a mass grave. And it's awful. It's the height of pornography. It actually, it gets me every time I think of it. Um, and the last time I saw it, which is a number of years ago, I said, OK, that's enough. That's enough. What is the opposite image? And I actually did sketches and models, and I did all this and that, and I danced around, and I couldn't think of anything that's the opposite of that. I couldn't. Um, and so after about six months, I gave up. and. This is another thing about making anything, I think, that's really important, is to give up. 
And there's that moment of giving up, and then the door opens. What happened for me is I gave up. I said, fuck it. Excuse my language. Um, I, um, this is being recorded. <laughs>